story begins in the British Empire in the 1480s. The Wars of the Roses, a power struggle making between the houses of Lancaster, the Red Roses, and York, the White Roses, to decide a royal successor was nearing an end. With the Yorkists well in the lead, with this the reign of Richard III was a step away. And in France, Yugi, Henry Tudor, the last of the Lancastrian hair line, was being forced to live a life of exile. Lancastrian forces were rendered powerless by ancient cards of sorcery, wielded by Seto and his seven followers, who were known as the Rose Crusaders, served under the flag of Lord Crawford. Powerful Yorkist nobleman. Lacking a duel as a champion in their cause, defeat was imminent for the Lancastrians. In England, dual card games were still at the fledging stage. Thus, the Lancastrians had to look elsewhere for a duel master capable of facing the Rosen Crew. I'm going to try. In battle. With this in mind, Margaret My Beaufort of Lancaster secretly requested a high druid to summon a duelist from another age. Oh fuck. <laughs> Mystic Circle, the red and white roses, the one capable of harnessing pure power. There was truth to the legend of the Rose Duelist. Lady Margaret, I, I did it! Now we have the means for defeating the evil forces of Rosen Cruz. Ellipsis! <laughs> oh, my apologies. In my excitement, I'd forgotten I was in the presence of the Rose Duelist. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Shimon McMorton, High Druid and Servant of Lancaster. May I be so bold to ask the name by which the Rosewoods would like to be known? That's your name? That's fucking retarded. <laughs> Walls? A fine name indeed! <laughs> now, here's the situation. The year is 1485. We're currently in Stonehenge, near Salisbury, England. The British Empire is in turmoil, with the House of Lancaster's rightful claim to the throne being challenged by the Yorkist Usurpers. The power struggle is referred to as the Wars of the Roses, Named based on the badges used by both sides. A red rose for the Lancastrians, and a white rose for the Yorkists. Right now, our kingdom is threatened by the Yorkists and their wrongful claim to the throne. All because of the Yorkists enjoy the support of the Rose Crusaders and their sorcerous white rose cards. Using our red rose cards, we summon you, Walls, to this day. We hope that your dueling experience would defeat the Rose Crusaders and lead us to victory. You will help us. Of course! You will! Fools to me even doubt where your loyalties lie. Rumor has it that only legendary Rose Duelist stands a chance against the power of Rose and Cruz. We appreciate any help you can provide against them. Before I forget, I should warn you that the rules to dueling differ here from those of your age. Near England, Dueling is governed by what we know as the perfect rule. In addition to this rule not being perfect, there are several, mi several other minor distinctions. There are two major differences. One is the existence of movement. The other is the deck leader concept. Wait, there ain't no one's arc? Uh, these are the two aspects of dueling that were lost in the process when the ancient sports of duel monsters was adapted to card form. The perfect rule represents these lost rules that were miraculously revived here in England. Perhaps a practice duel shall serve better as an explanation? Shall we? The 
back of the packs, huh? First, balls, you must select a deck to duel. And it's important that you feel the vibrations of a deck leader. The minute, the resonations that ring true to your soul. The colors themselves draw their power from the energies of the ancient ones. The deck leader acts as an inter intermediate between the ancient ones and the deck leader. Walls. It is essential that you select a card leader whose rhythm matches the stereos. Your soul. Here are several decks to choose. Give it some serious thought and make your selection. Choose carefully. The deck you select will guide the destiny of your dreams. Oh boy. No pleasure. Alright. We can use the Maiden of the Aqua deck. The Bird Face deck. Or the Wolf Axe Wielder deck. What are you going to choose? We'll use the bird face deck. I do not like my options though. They were bad. I see you have selected your deck. So that's the effect of the Celtic Rose cards. It looks like there's some truth to the rumor that the Red Rose cards are capable of time transformation. Who's there? Kaiba! It's Sato, you dingus! It's still Kaiba! Does that say Kaiba? Seto Kaiba, still the same person. It doesn't say Kaiba. He has a last name. Seto does it. How does Seto not have a last name? It's Seto Kaiba. It's been some time since the Battle of Garnet War. Rose and Cruz! What brings you here? Only a member of the Rose Crusaders may call me by that name. If you may recall, I told you once before that you may only address me as Seto. Or does memory fail you? Shredded rope. I must admit, there's a certain form of power in the me. I believe an introduction is over. I am Seto, leader of the Rose Crusaders. There are members of our little group who prefer to call me by the name of C. Rosencruz. I ask you again, what brings you here, Seto? Mind your manners, old man. What else would bring me here? I've come for the Red Rose cards. After all, it was you who showed me how the summoning capabilities would evolve when the Red Rose cards are combined with the transport powers of the White Rose cards. You aren't thinking of attempting the forbidden Rose Summoning. If so, then the Rose cards must never fall into your evil hands. Card sorcery taps into the powers of the ancient ones. By their very nature, each card is a double-edged sword that can cut both ways. The rose cards here harness tremendous power. There is no telling what horrors one might unleash to the world by combining both red and white. I will sacrifice my own life if need to prevent any form from summoning the spell doom. The spell doom. The spell of doom. Fool! The 16 red and white rose cards grant power over all. Druid Ledge has twisted the true meaning of these cards. We rose crusaders have sworn to create a utopia free from the ravages of war. We intend to accomplish this with the power of the cards. And we shall do so by extending the rule of the Richard III throughout the known world. By the way, it was clever of you form a circle of red roses within the white rose barrier to summon the rose duelist. But you were foolish to come alone. This area is surrounded, and if you wish to leave with your life, you will do so only by handing over the red rose cards. We? A fool? What about you? Are you fool to actually believe the red rose cards will remain here in my possession? Right after the summoning, I had the cards dispersed among our best duelists to keep them from your sweaty little hands. If you leave me with no option, I shall enlist the aid of your precious rose duelists. Uh-oh. You take leave of your senses. What was that mean? <laughs> what the hell? Did you speak too soon, old man? 
heed my words, duelist. If you wish to return to your proper period, you will require 16 cards of red and white roses. The red and white positions must be laid out in reverse of the summoning order to send you home. You know the spell? Since you need the 16 rose cards as much as we do, I propose a partnership. Help us gather the rose cards, and I shall guarantee your return after we've achieved our ultimate goal. An absurd proposal! Do you think that the honorable... <laughs> the honorable balls... <laughs> Do you think that the honorable balls would even lend an ear to your ridiculous proposal? Or the fact that the balls actually have an ear? <laughs> Can you be so sure, old man? Let me see. Shimon's side has eight of the red rose cards, while my side, the Rose Crusaders, has possession of the white eight rose cards. Eight white rose cards. <laughs> As the numbers are even, simple arithmetic indicates that you can side with either of us. But I'm sure you'll take into account who's winning the war. Who was desperate enough to summon you in the first place? I think it's quite clear which side is quite better positioned to send you. <laughs> Heed not the words of this power-hungry lunatic! Shimon! Must you resort to name-calling? I'm heard! I'll tell you what. Why don't we leave the decision to the dear Rose Duelist? After all, Shimon, the Duelist's future is not for us to decide now, is it? Well, yes, but... Splendid! In order with the tradition of the old temple gardens, I offer you a choice, duelist. Here are two roses. White represents me, and the red for Shimon. For the sake of justice, choose the red rose! Stand by my side, duelist. Choose the white rose. Oh god, we gotta choose? Well, we can do both sides of the story. Side. A wise choice, Duelist. I see you are well versed in judging a situation. Welcome to the Rose Crusaders. I am honored. Okay, old man. It's time you made yourself scarce. What are you doing? No! No! Well, fuck. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need you out of the way. Everything is settled. Now let's talk about the Red Rose cards. Shimon mentioned that he spread the cards among certain individuals just after summoning them. I think it's safe to assume that a large number of these individuals are his confederates currently, located in France. I would like to ask you to re-enter France from Dover and retrieve those cards for our cause. I go myself, however I'm needed here to maintain our barrier against any invasions. According to the legend, one must use a deck whose cost is lower than an opponent's to capture a rose card of another color. Remember, a deck that costs lower than that of an opponent is the key. I've also heard somewhere that the Celts inherited their red rose cards from the original inhabitants of Stonehenge. This would mean that our enemy, Yugi, who comes from a line of Welsh nobility, would likely have inherited one of the red rose cards. This means that there are all opposed world critters are sufficiently equipped to duel against us as equals. Given their desperate situation, they will retaliate with everything they've got. It would be wise not to underestimate them. I'm depending on you. Alright, onwards to France! Duel 1 will be against Taya. You do too good at that impression of the uh, new Oh, God. Alright, duel one against Taya. My deck leader has arrived. I have not played this in a long time. <laughs> right, I'm gonna move you on top of the leader, and we're gonna throw out. What's the ability here? I am 
and my turn. Come on! What was that? What'd she do? Well, she equipped to give her card extra power immediately. Oh, fuck. Well, I'll just throw you over here right now. I will throw this card in defense mode, and my turn. Alright, we have 98 turns left. What happens in the 98 turns and stuff? Like, what happens when it reaches zero? Draw. Alright. Increase the power of Wind Beast monsters by 500 points. But even if you have more life points than her, it'll still count as a draw? Yep. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play a card this turn. That's right. You want to attack the old here? What's going on? All water monsters have gained attack points. Oh boy. Yeah. I still won! Wow! Alright, let's watch this battle. <laughs> Alright. Let's watch this epic failure. On the top of a mountain was the winged dragon guarding the fortress. And an egg. <laughs> the egg attacks! With its laser. It hurt. But How dare you! <laughs> Just because I feel it'd be more entertaining, you can skip the, all these battles, but I will probably not skip many. If I'm skipping one, it means we've seen the attack way it's too much. much. Takes you always off. <laughs> and 21 are defense points! Wait, you have it in attack mode! <laughs> wow. Oh, this was intelligent! <laughs> That was very wow. smart. You would that was to. very smart. Taya, you're an idiot. The star has, a creepy the star has rainbow arms. <laughs> Taste is that the star rainbow. from Mario? I think it is. Taste my stars. Dude, my bird did not like that. <laughs> oh, your bird's pissed. Oh, your bird's pissed. Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, yeah, you're gonna feel bad in the morning. Actually, no, you're not, because you're dead. Yeah. Yeah, that was fucking over. I think she just took, in her own turn, she took, like, half her life points. Yeah, because she's an idiot. Dude, look at that star. It's, it's creepy. She took more than half her life points! <laughs> yeah, Yugi's gonna be asking how you failed, and you're gonna have to tell him, because of your... Oh, yeah, you're four! <laughs> yeah, because of your own stupidity. Now. Is she gonna summon any more weak monsters, or is she gonna? I'll say what she's gonna do. She's about to run for her fucking life. Or not? Okay, yeah. Run closer to my monster, please. <laughs> oh God. Why did you just attack me? Because I had to duel right there. No, you, there was two spots. Uh, you trying to surround her? Pretty much. <laughs> You ain't gonna get away from get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, and get rid of this, but I think there's a possibility of fusion. I'll hope for the best. Yep, thought so! Nothing that great, but I'll take it. Fusion is fusion. What's she gonna do? She's surrounded. What's she sitting in her car all the way over there for? I think she's trying to flank me. Um. Okay. Whatever that did. No! Well. What is she. She's going to kill herself! 
Yeah, basically you'll be with it by doing that really nothing. <laughs> oh, look, look at this. Oh, good <laughs> God, those eyes were <laughs> nuts. Oh. oh, no. The Keyblade! Hey, you don't have to have that. Please tell me that was a joke. <laughs> Is that a joke? I don't like joke. What happened? <laughs> oh! She put my card in defense mode. Wow. Still didn't help her, though. Yeah, now you're fucked. <laughs> I, think it's, I think you won. Probably. You're like, oh, you want to do that attack on me? Let me show you how it's done. Alright, now back to me just owning you. Use the force lightning! Unlimited! <sighs> her, her door was a part of her car, apparently. <laughs> wow. Victory! <laughs> What's she gonna All say right. since she lost? Now, the slot machine! Okay, bad pull. If I can pull that again, I get a bonus. <laughs> oh, you were close. Hey, Teo, what are you gonna say now, huh? Slot chip! Obtained a rose card! Thank you! Who's next? Continue towards France! We will be dueling Tristan Gray. 